I'm Ryan Tucker, I'm a third Dan karate instructor. I've uh, been competing on the England team for what, 10 plus years and this year I'll be fighting again at the Europeans in Chalkida in Greece. What I do is called Shotokan Karate, so there's many, many, many different styles. It's not just about turning up and going to the competitions and fighting, it's, it, it, there's way, way more than that. There's all the sort of respect and discipline that it teaches you and like self-control. It starts off with something so simple. Like the first thing you learn is pretty much how to make a fist. And it's very kind of structured and graded and it's structured improvement, which you can, you can take from it whatever you want. But the very, very simple answer is it's a martial art that teaches you how to defend yourself. The rules are the first to two points. You're aiming to achieve a blow that if it was an actual fight, that would end the fight. Because it is only to two points, it's very, it can be quite cagey. Because if you make a mistake and get kicked in the head, that's it, competition over, you're out. So a lot of it's very, very tactical and there'll often be quite, lots of clashes, lots and lots of clashes that look like people are scoring, look like people are getting smacked in the referees. Like, no, 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 they've got to be good shots. No, but the first competition I ever won was the, like the kids' nationals, they call it. And um, there was these two twins, they were both really, really good. Everyone was sort of a bit scared of them. I beat one of them in the semi-finals. I thought he was in the final. He absolutely battered, <laughs> battered me. Every clash, he was, he was whacking me and whacking me. And, you know, he wasn't scoring anything, but every punch was like just flying through and whacking me. And he, had, he ended up getting disqualified. So the, the first one I ever won, it, it wasn't really a feeling of elation. I was, I was battered and bruised. So I was like... Sort of between the ages of 12 and 15, that was like an under 16s category then. I started winning. So that must be my first ever senior individual medal. Runs. That was a tournament where I kicked the big Russian in the head. I think we were fighting in Poland. And I got through, through a few rounds, I was doing quite well, be, beating some good lads. And the lad who I was fighting, he was a big, big, massive like Russian fella. Pretty scary. Pretty scary. It was a good fight, it was fairly competitive, and um, about 30 seconds to go he got me. I think there was like four seconds on the clock, so I just ran at him and like, just kicked him <laughs> right around the side of the head, completely flew, because I'm, I'm not particularly flexible, I don't really... I can't get me like that eye, and this guy was absolutely massive. <laughs> and, they, and they gave me the point, and the crowd went mad because it was so unexpected. Yeah, that was a fun one. This was in Switzerland 2014. And these are the two finals I wasn't allowed to fight in. I was fighting this Russian lad, and he just read me completely. And as I went in, this kid, this kid got me, and I, I, I thought I'd broken a rib. And I just went, I went down, I wasn't in really absolute agony. And uh, I got taken into like the back room. My dad was over there watching and he tells me after the instructor just kind of gone like, come down, <laughs> you're going to be needed. They put me on like this drip and then I eventually I got sat up on the thing rather than lying down. I was like, right, can I go get my, uh, go get my medal now? She was like, oh, absolutely not. I thought, oh, what do you mean? <laughs> she said, no, you're not leaving this room. So I was lying there, I was absolutely devastated. I knew, I knew, I knew at this point I wasn't able to fight in the team final, which was coming up. And then just kind of, it was really weird, like just kind of one by one, the rest of the team were filtering in. And it, it ended up they were all in this little room. And they were like crying my eyes out basically, <laughs> like wanting to fight in this uh, this final but not being able to, you know, we're very much, we're really got a tight team. through to semi-final so I was th thrilled about that like you know that look kind of at that point you finally stop being nervous and start like right look, look, you're serious now you can relax got up to fight in the semi-final and fought, uh, fought my uh, roommate who I've actually fought in about three semi-finals this year in like domestic competition it was a, yeah it was a quite cagey fight as you expect you know we fight each other all the time we know each other, each other are good at I don't know, about 10 15 seconds ago I got him with a, with a back kick with a sheer again didn't send him flying off the map, but it was enough for half a point, which, uh, and then he didn't really have time to come chasing back. In the final, the fight is a longer fight, it's to more points. And I could see, I was reading his movement, I was reading him really well. 
and then there wasn't long left, we were both exhausted and I got it, I got him with this ashy and he was on his back and I chased, chased him down. I just couldn't find just couldn't find the target. I can't remember the exact scores, but I think that would have either put me in the lead or I would have won the fight with that. And eventually time ran out and uh, he got the decision, he had, he had more points. Do you know, so I was, I was absolutely devastated then. I remember the rest of the team were like telling me, forget that now, forget that. And, and I was telling him, just give me five minutes and I will. And I went up to see my dad. He was like, nobody had any sympathy for me or anything like that. They just tell me to forget it. And, you know, it's not about me. There's, you know, we, we want to win that team. That's, that's, that's what we want. And then uh, we had to fight Hungary in the team. And I was fighting, uh, it was their, their second fighter. Quite a bit bigger than me. And sort of, he was fairly cagey. I went out, pressed him, pushed him to the edge of the mat. A couple of feints. And pretty much the first thing I threw was the sweep, the ashy. And he just went, and it was almost the same as against the rush. He just went, he, he just landed right there. And smacked, <laughs> smacked him. And I don't remember ever celebrating a point like it. I'd turned around to see all the lads going mental. Just threw my arm in, took my gum shield straight out. And then obviously you kind of come around and think, well, don't get in trouble, don't over celebrate. And the referee gave me a palm, so the, that fight was done. I was like, right, happy days, 2 0 up, three fights to go, we just need, we just need one win. And then it was the lad I trained with, fought number four, against it, a really, really big lad. And you know, it was fairly cagey, and moving him a couple of in and outs. And he just threw this punch over the top. It was a great shot. It, it just, it was just too hard. The lad just dropped, and we're like this, head, head in our hands. Like it, it's just these sort of fine margins between an Ippon, which wins us, wins us the Europeans, or a disqualification, which means they've then got an Ippon win, which cancels out mine, which means they only need a, a win in the last fight, and they win. Anyway, the referee gave him like. What's called Hansoka Chewy, which is like your last warning. So we were like, oh, just punch the body, don't don't go in near his head. So anyway, about five seconds until that lad attacks him and the lad smacks him behind the, behind the jaw again, but really, really well controlled. Man, half a point, brilliant. And we're just like, I'm pacing round, head in hands, like, come on, this is this is it now, this is it. And he got the second score. Then it, which meant the last fight didn't even mean it. I don't even know what happened in the last fight. I was barely even watching and just busy celebrating, you know. Yeah, and actually at the same time, the uh, the women's team, at the exact same time as us, won the Europeans as well. So it was uh, from a few days of like nearly to finally get over the line, and them two was uh, it was absolutely amazing. Well, in the next couple of weeks, I will be announced as the new chief instructor of that club. So it's now like rather than kind of just looking after it for the, uh, the instructor who's been away, it's now it's, it's getting handed to me now. So responsibility changes again then. So I need to put as much effort into that as I do my own training now, but make sure my own training doesn't drop off for these last year, maybe two of competing. I always make a joke with like the younger ones that depending on where the competitions go from now on, that depends whether or not I retire. <laughs> so if it goes, it keeps going somewhere nice. I'll keep, I'll keep plodding away.